Hello guys, this is Joshua A600 back with more Grey's Anatomy the video game. That's good sense. Okay, so I believe we are starting Act 3 of Episode 4, right? Yep. Now on there are only three scenes too. Episode 4 seems really short so far because there are only two scenes in Act 2 and only three scenes in Act 3. Psychiatrist saying she had a psychotic break. This was not a psychotic break. I've seen psychotic breaks. Shocking yourself with defibrillator paddles is pretty psychotic. Is this the woman that was like saying she was dead and uh, belongs in the morgue or something? Okay, George's help. Get worked up or be cool. Worked up. You haven't, uh... Just like that. I guess. I, oh, I didn't try to move she the white thing. She tried to start her heart. If you think you're dead, that's rational. Nope, it's still psychotic. Cotard syndrome, also known as walking corpse syndrome. See, not psychotic. So she's like a zombie? No, dear. I don't want to eat your brains. <laughs> I'm simply dead. How do you feel, Miss Park? Both yes. considered I'm feeling all right. I'm going to check your vitals now. <sighs> vitals? That's a good one. I work at the end of Agent. She's not going to have any vitals. Because that's just what Grey's Anatomy does. That's why I love Grey's Anatomy. They don't do stuff like this anymore, though. Of, like, crazy patients or... I think I've said this before, but... They don't have crazy patients or memorable cases anymore. You're recovering nicely. You need to get the back to that. The stench of my decaying flesh says otherwise. Could you get me some air freshener? Um, sure. And do you think cortisone cream would do anything for the worms crawling around inside me? The itch is terrible. Maybe. Maybe they should look at seriously at the itch more. That was pretty funny. Okay, chief of surgery on that scene. Thank goodness. Oh, sounds like a sad scene. Did you find out about the antitoxin? U.S. supply was depleted by an outbreak in Puerto Rico. The fastest thing is to ship a new supply from Australia. Meredith, it's still going to be at least a week. At least a Christina week. Christina doesn't have that long. She would have been better off if we hadn't put her in quarantine. Then at least she'd be able to treat herself. You did the right thing. The right thing, according to you. Why does it take a week to get something from Australia to the United States? Like with red mirrors can be aimed in... How? I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, then I want... Th there we go. I wanted the, the people. I'm here if you need me. I need you to not be here. That's messed up. I need you to not be here. You guys are each other's rocks. Each, that you guys need to lean on each other. We're in the last scene of the act. Chief Weber, one yeah. of the guards just radioed me and said there's a suspicious flow of people headed toward the basement. Uh oh, Izzy and Callie have been caught because like that guy saw the exit. Rhythm courage. I like this one. Although the rhythm seemed kind of off as you were pressing it. That's the east wing. Damn it. How did they know it was unguarded? I don't know. Maybe someone tipped them off and worked out around. Uh oh. He's suspecting Callie. Of course you can. You all must disperse and head back to your respective areas immediately. Get the hell out of my way. I've been here for three days with a smooth throat. I want out. They need to know they're breaking the law. Cut away random people. Random people, random people, random people. Okay. 
Good enough. Violating a CDC lockdown is a misdemeanor. You will be punished if you leave the premises. Not if you can't catch me. You shouldn't. You should have said it was a felony. That would have scared them more. But. Came as soon as we heard. What do you need, Chief? Make sure no one gets out of this hospital. Bailey's hair looks lighter. Oh God, Callie. And these people are infected. Their blood is going to infect like even more people too. Oh my God, is that a pool of blood around here? There's like. This is, this suddenly just got even more crazy. And act four, busy. Sir, is something wrong? You're the one, I, I saw sneak the baby out. They already I snuck the baby help. out. Please. That's good they always snuck the baby out, but why didn't we get to see it? Minimum treatment. Mat oh, or okay, it's a choice. Gentle or tough? I think tough. Tired of gentle, loving Izzy. There we go. I had to think about Every that time one. you scream, the glass shard in your chest shifts and blood pools in your lungs. Uh oh, he done goofed. Save the patient now. Uh, close enough. There we go. I love how, like, when you ricochet off them, they just go flying. But if you drag them yourself, they they're I so slow. I need you to stay still so I can treat you. Don't touch me. Careful. This whole thing was your fault. I'm not forgetting that. But, uh... How is it her fault? She's not the one that made you all right. Need a stretcher over here and page Dr. Han. Dr. Han stuck in OR2. What? Okay. Okay. That's fine. Um. Tell Dr. Bailey that uh, I'm taking this man into OR to perform surgery. Okay. Perfect. You're doing the surgery. I believe they're residents in this game. Because doesn't this like take place during season 4? They're residents, I mean, they're interns in the first three. Um, seasons and I'm pretty sure they were residents in season four. Like it kind of makes sense, like why you'd have to like the triangle ones at the edges, but like it looked like there was one in the middle, and that kind of makes sense too. But it's like just like memorizing it. Like I still like think that doctors like. How do they memorize everything? Well, I think, like, they memorize st stuff until, like, they go into the specialty. Then they really don't have to me remember everything. Sir, you're losing a lot of blood. Please. Sit down now! Oh. Wow, angry George. And I like, it's like if you're taking, like, a, a test. Like, Thanks. like, a, a year test. Like, a test after a year in school. Like, you, you study before. Like, you studied, like, during the quizzes at the time, you remembered all those, but, like, at the end of the year for the final, you don't really remember every single thing. I guess it's like that. After, like, you get to your specialty, maybe you don't remember every little thing, but you remember all, like, the basics, the fundamentals. I don't know. I think the way Alex has been treating you lately is awful. I'd apologize if I was still seeing him. Well, well I'd apologize for him if I was still seeing him, but I I'm not. I ended it. You're... you're not? Well, the way he treats people... N no, the way he treats you is terrible. I don't want to be with someone. He treats people terrible too, but George especially. Show Lexi how you feel, okay? Get the love thing to Lexi. I need to somehow turn that off and... That. 
I don't know what I just did, but it worked. George. Yeah, that wasn't. I, uh, you weren't supposed to do that. That was a bad idea, George. Scene complete. And once again, chief of surgery. Okay, Act 4, Scene 3, it's Christina Scene. I'm having some trouble. Advise or... You have to advise him. You're, you're still a doctor. So let's look for... No, that doesn't look like advise. Let's see what does. Yeah. You need to be intubated. No. Stubborn and stupid. Mean and insensitive. Yes, you are the only doctor around, so... Doctor in. Cut away, Red Christina. Uh, why didn't that one cut away? Thank you. Okay, so we have to... Oh, it's another one of these things. Just line up the green circles. There we go. What's Ventolin? What does it do? You're okay. I'm not gonna die until 11.22 p.m. tonight. 22 or 23. Why would you want to know that? Where did he get Things those numbers from? It comforts me. I don't think someone delivered those mortality charts or whatever he was requesting in the previous episode. Thanks for helping me. Oh, scene complete. Chief of Surgery. Okay, act- oh, we're all around act five. Crazy. It's the Izzy scene. No. I want a different doctor. We're extremely short-staffed. I don't think he's the only patient to request a different doctor besides Izzy. The object of my affection and the patient I need to interview in the same room. Lucky me. Interview? And the object of his affection? What? I need to ask you about the riot. I'd be happy to make a statement. His name is Mr. Soon. Reminds me of a Noonien Soon, the guy who built Data in Star Trek. Get rid of Damon. Make excuse or distract. I think excuse would be funnier. Or distract would be funnier. What did I do? Okay, let's see how much I have to cut off, then I can just retry it. Distract. Because look, her arm is like in the middle of it. Do I just... Oh, that's fine. Okay. Let's quickly... We love that. Oh, there are only three scenes in this act as well? That's crazy. This is... this Seriously, no. episode four is really short. I want a different doctor. We're extremely short-staffed. The object of my affection and the patient I need to interview in the same room. Lucky me. Lucky all you. I need to ask you about the riot. Okay, ask about the riot. I'd be happy to make a statement. Can't let Mr. Sumbler recover, okay? So now let's do this correctly this time. We're going to distract. And for some reason, cut off some of her arm, even though that's what how we lost in that Damon mission in the past. Seems like the picture and the Damons don't mix. So you didn't come here to talk to me? No, that's just a perk. Hello? <laughs> Another patient reported you knew about the back entrance. How did you know it was unguarded? The blonde. What's her name? The beautiful and talented surgeon who saved your life is Dr. Isabel Stevens. You saved my life? Yes, she performed the surgery on you. Moved nervous to the target. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can't move those. You can only move the black ones into them. You can't move the white ones themselves. Okay, so you just do this. 
And there you go. Wouldn't be much of a doctor if I couldn't save a life here or there. Exactly. Mr. Soon, how did you know about the exit? I found the door myself. I was desperate. Heart rate skyrocketing. He didn't. He didn't. Uh, oh, he's losing a lot of blood. The glass must have nicked an artery near his heart. What's the word? He didn't tell on her. Team! Okay, so because she saved him, he uh, didn't get her in trouble. Move into base. Okay, fill the syringe. Inject epinephrine. That's slow doing that. Apply chest compressions. Come on. Almost there. There we go. And I think uh, after this scene, we're going to end the episode. Oh no. Somebody really turn that thing off. They need you to call it. Time of death, 8.42. Scene complete. Well, that's a sad way to end the episode, isn't it? Oh, I want to see. This will be a Meredith scene. Oh, yay. I like, I'm like. i going to like this one in the next episode. Okay, but very successful episode. We made a lot of progress. We didn't really have to redo anything except that Izzy, but it was one of the first things that so doesn't really matter. I'm Joshua A600, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.